Hello all, in this video we will see the ambiguity in context reverse. Simply speaking, uh, an ambiguous grammar is the one which produces more than one leftmost derivation or more than one rightmost derivation for producing the same sentence using a grammar. Keep in mind that uh, one leftmost derivation and one rightmost derivation for a grammar is not the sufficient combination for ambiguity. It should be having at least two leftmost derivation or it should be having at least two rightmost derivation to be called as an ambiguous grammar for producing the same sentence. For example, we will see the uh, same grammar that we have discussed in the previous video that is E gives E plus C, E gives E star E, E gives R E. So this is uh, basically grammar for arithmetic expressions plus star everything is here. You can uh, expand it using E gives E star E by E, E minus E, uh, E in brackets and all. So from this we will uh, derive the sentence ID plus ID star ID. Let's see how we can define the sentence using two leftmost derivation or two rightmost derivation. I mean uh, it can be derived uh, either it should be able to I mean we should be able to derive it at least using two leftmost derivation or using two rightmost derivation we will try it with leftmost derivation. So E gives I will start with E gives E plus C. Now see I am following leftmost derivation now you can try with leftmost or rightmost whichever is applicable it less in, in at least one case if it is found to be able to derive more past trees using two leftmost to two rightmost that is ambiguous. So E gives E plus E. So I am converting this E into ID. Now plus E. Now uh, this E will be converted to E star E. Now in the next step ID. I am converting the first E into ID. Then star E. Now in the next step I am replacing the final non-terminal with its corresponding terminal. That is I got ID plus ID star ID using leftmost derivations. So if I can get one more leftmost derivation to derive the same sentence I can definitely say that this grammar is ambiguous. We will try. I am trying with E is giving E star. I am starting with E gives E star E. Now uh, I am replacing the leftmost E with its alternative. E is having altern an alternative E plus E. So E plus E star E. Now I am replacing the first E with ID. ID plus E star E. Now I am replacing the second E with ID. ID plus ID star E. Now I am replacing the third uh, E with ID. ID plus ID star ID. So all these are obtained using leftmost derivations. So I could get the very same sentence ID plus ID star ID using two very different leftmost derivations. So we can say that this grammar is ambiguous. We will see one more example. We will take the grammar S gives AS or SA or epsilon. This is the grammar and the sentence that I want to derive is A, A, A. Let's see. So S in starting with AS leftmost derivation can use leftmost or rightmost whichever is uh, in, uh, convenient to you. Now AS. Now again the second S is replaced by SA. Now the third time I am replacing this S with uh, AS. Now I am replacing this S with epsilon so that it becomes triple A. That is the sentence I want to derive. And I got all this using a leftmost derivation. Now uh, I am trying whether I can derive the same thing using another leftmost derivation. So I am starting with ASA instead of AS so that um, in the beginning itself of uh, the leftmost derivation is a different word. Now uh, I am replacing this S with SA again. So SAA. Now I am replacing this S with SA again. SAAA. 
Now I am replacing this S with epsilon. So I'll get AAA. So this is the leftmost derivation. This is also the leftmost derivation. So there I got two different uh, leftmost derivation for this cyan string. Uh, for this grammar. So this grammar again is ambiguous. Ambiguity is never a good thing. Because the compiler will be confused as to which of the uh, available leftmost derivation should be used. So we should... Uh, somehow I eliminate uh, ambiguity because many parsers cannot even process ambiguous grammars. So we should be defining some disambiguating rules so that uh, the ambiguity will be eliminated. So we will see in the next video a disambiguating rule and how to eliminate ambiguity for uh, grammar for arithmetic expressions. Thank you.